Good morning, my friends and family. Cooper here with another episode of uh, Crash Team Racing. We're going to be moving on to the 15th track of the game, which uh, this is the hardest track in the game. It's sad that they didn't see, save it for last, but uh, we're going to get through it. This is the rainbow road of this game. There are pretty much there are no barriers to protect you. There are ramps that we have to do that can lead to certain death. And uh, don't bring your friends here if you're showing them the game or they will be completely turned off on it. For me, however, we're going to freaking do it. I'm, I don't plan on falling off. I don't want to. I've been playing Rainbow Road. I've been playing freaking Hot Air Skyway from, since I was a little kid. I'm going to do it. God, am I going to do it. Come on. Come on. Just don't hit, get hit by anything. If you can control it, don't get hit by anything when you go off ramps. Because that will, that will be what cuts into your time. There's a shortcut if you take the right path, but if you don't have tops, if you don't have a high top speed like uh, Tiny or Dingle Dial, then you will not make it. Uh, the only way to make it is to drift off of the jump and then get a perfect jump, or then press the jump button at the very tip of the ramp, and then you can make it if you're a slower racer. Crash just needs to t press it at the tip of the ramp, but uh, yeah, I'm not perfect at that, so I'm not gonna risk it, especially if I don't need to. Might need to later on when later on in this video actually, but we'll see. Oh, just hit him and just hit her. We're good. Oh no, please! Don't don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. Okay, that could have been much worse, so nothing to worry about. Yep, there we go. Got Coco. And got Dingle Dial. Good to see Dingle Dial. He never gets first. It's sad. Even Tiny gets first sometimes. Alright, here we go. Now we got our star power. As you can see, I'm not holding the lead in this race, which sucks, but. You know, it's the hardest map in the game. It should it should finally give us some challenge. I don't think I've lost a race so far, which... You know, that's good for recording time, but bad for challenge. People like to see stressful situations, and I cannot provide that, sadly. Maybe next time. Okay. You see, I drift blasted correctly, but I did not... Um, I did not jump at the tip of the ramp, so I didn't... I didn't get any air. And I screwed us. We're, we're in 7th place out of 8 racers. This is really bad. Give me a good item. I don't want 3 freaking green shells. That does nothing for me. Literally nothing. Look at that. I hit 1 racer. Alright, 4th place. 4th place. I'm on the leaderboard now. That's that's what matters. Let's get this item. Oh wow, that was a good snipe by Dingle Bell. Oh my god, how did I just drift into 1st? There we go. Although the races, racers are still too close. It's, t it's too tense. I don't want a tense situation, I want an easy situation. That's what a casual would do. Oh, come on, TNT! Yes, the TNT blocked the missile, thank god. I could not make that turn for the life of me, and Dingle Dial could? He has the worst turning in the game and he could do it? Oh, I'm a disgrace. Oh wow, he even dodged the potion, what the heck? When did you become a challenge, Dingle Dial? Get out of here, this is my kingdom. This is my track, race. All right, drifting here is dangerous, but we're gonna do it anyway because I need, I need a lead. I have the greed to get the lead. Uh, come on, barely made that. Okay, good. That was the shortcut. Even the c computer racers will take that shortcut. So if you don't, then you're putting yourself in a worse position. Some other shortcuts in the game are not used by the computer racers. So usually using them gives you a lead, but using that shortcut simply helps you since the other racers use it not using it hinders you completely so that sucks but we're gonna keep going this straightaway is good for tiny and dingle dial that's probably how they keep their lead a couple straightaways like that in this map but a lot of t a lot of hard turns um i know it's not too hard to fall off the map and i'm not really showing why it's hard but that's because we're not playing with human players that uh keep keep pace with you and uh, attack you constantly because when you get attacked at this game in this game when you're at your top speed my god, do you go flying. Alright, we did it. That was, uh, what was that? Yeah, that wasn't even the last track because that's that's the boss race. Okay. Where's the last track? I cannot remember the last track for the life of, for the life of me. Oh, who cares? We get the crash dance. Cortex and Pura just chilling there. I need to figure out the girl's name because there's more girls than just her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peekaboo. All right, let's go. All right, map. Show me where this last race is and why I can't remember it. I swear to God, I know all the tracks in this game. How? Okay, it's right here. What's it called? 
Oh, okay. I did not know this would be part of the normal 16 races. Okay. Oxide Station, if you're curious, you know that Oxide is the final boss of this game. And this will be his boss track. So, yeah. This is one of the funnest tracks in the game, but it isn't available in multiplayer mode, which really sucks. I think it's because it's too, it's too easy to crash the game. <laughs> crash the crash game on this track because there's so much going on. Uh, really cool, really cool track actually. Lots of boosts everywhere, amazing areas to drift, ramps that take you, that give you a lot of hang time. I mean, it's probably one of the funnest tracks in the game. And it makes sense since it's the last track in the game. Uh, well, not the last track. It's the last main track in the game. There are bonus tracks, but they're usually just for time trials or battles, battle arenas. They're, they're not races, they're battles, so that's completely different. I'm wrong. Alright, let's get a weapon. I don't like being in fifth. It feels weird. Yeah, blue shell. That'll do it. Goodbye, Tiny. Oh, Tiny. Jesus. His big old body gone in the way. The blue shell is freaking out. It does not know what's going on. We're outside in space right now. And the blue shell is trying to figure out where the hell everybody is. Uh, when you're in space, all of your jumps are exaggerated, so that's kind of cool. Uh, where, where the hell did... Where, where the hell is Polar? How is he so far ahead? Yeah, missiles aren't very good on this map thanks to all the drifting turns. Look at this. Yep, just hit a wall. And this one? Did, okay, no. Hit a wall. Hit a wall, yeah. Missiles don't do much on this, on this track. You honestly need something guaranteed, like a blue shell. But it's still one of the funnest tracks. Hopefully I don't lose on it, but seeing that I haven't even touched Polar so far because of his perfect handling or perfect turning since they kept it simple. Thank you, I was only four at the time, so it was very helpful for them to keep it simple for me. Uh, missile, there we go, and a straightaway. Alright, also, I do not have 10 Wumpa Fruit. I need to fix that, because that is slowing me down. Always go for Wumpa Fruit, people. It, it's the it's the game changer, that's for sure. Alright, where is this uh, scientist? I need to hit him. I missed him and hit Polar again. Oh, I won't be seeing him anymore. Alright, let's make these jumps. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay. Drift. Oh, no, please. Okay, good. He shot a missile at a bad point. Oh, my God. How is he keeping pace? He's not keeping pace. He's beating me. He has a lower top speed. Oh, never mind. Blue shell. We win. Oh, it's not even the last lap. Oh, crap. I, get, I got overzealous. We're in trouble. Go, 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 go. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, 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 go. Luckily, missiles aren't a threat here, but they can still get a blue shell. And I, I know we haven't seen one yet, but I guess they're rare for the CPU since it's just such an unbelievably strong item. And we haven't even seen a clock. Yeah, I guess that's more of a multiplayer thing. The computers aren't allowed to get it, maybe. You know what? No, I've seen them get it. I don't know. Who knows, people? We'll figure it out someday. But for now, we gotta keep our lead, and it is not... We do not... We're not holding the lead very well. They're, like, right next to us. How is this even possible? I have my 10 free. Alright, there we go. Make this turn. Sons of bitch. How the f How are they keeping up? I'm hitting every turn. My times aren't very good, I'll admit that, but still. How's Polar in- Whoa! Okay, I don't know if you all just saw that, but I was in third for no freaking reason. And Polar and Dingledown were beating me, but they're like in last right now, so... I don't know, I'm freaking out. The game's freaking out at least. That's probably why this, this track is banned in multiplayer mode. It's just, it's an unstable map. Better for one-on-one, -on -one, which... Oh god, we will be getting to that in this episode too. I'm not... This might be... You know what, this is the final episode. It, I'm just gonna predict that. Because I don't see, see myself losing the bosses that much. Losing to the bosses that much. We'll see. Okay, that time was not as good as the last one, but we did fine. Whew. That was a real race for a few seconds there. But only for a few seconds. Ah, oh, these loading screens are taking longer and longer. But it's okay, they're loading up the crash dance, it makes sense. You know, I wonder if you guys are keeping track, but who's been getting second and third the most? Because I, I feel like I see a lot of Pura and a lot of Engine. And like, no Dingle Dial. I want to see Dingle Dial, he has this giant flamethrower on his back, it's awesome. Oh, are we doing it? Pinstripe Portolini. Forget about it. If you's gonna face Oxide, you's gonna have to get past me first. 
I'm the speed champion here, and I'm gonna save the world <laughs> for a size of me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> God, he is one of the most badass Crash bosses there is. He literally, in his, he's in Crash 1, I think he's like the fourth or fifth boss, and he has a freaking Tommy gun. You just start blasting away. You have to dodge the bullets or get behind cover. It's, it's amazing. And in this game, he doesn't use the Tommy gun, but uh, his boss stats are, I think he is a Coco level. He has the best acceleration in the game, good top speed, and uh, amazing turning too. So he is definitely a threat. You gotta be careful while you race him. Uh, this map gives you a lot of missiles, and since he has such great acceleration, even if you manage to hit him off of the ledge somehow, uh, it won't matter, because he'll recover from falling off really quickly. Look how fast this guy is, it's crazy. Did he just survive that? What the heck? I don't understand. And his weapon is bowling bombs. He throws them backwards, and you just have to be careful. They're really fast and unbelievably hard to dodge. You just have to have good positioning, really. Since I don't have any Wampa Fruit, I don't see myself catching up to him, even with good drifting. So, we're gonna have to figure this out. We got three laps to figure it out. This is about a three and a half minute track. Maybe, if I don't get hit. Ooh, this straightaway is way too easy to get hit on. Here it comes. Yep, that's the one that always gets me. It's weird. You see it coming, and yet you... Okay, the game started me pointing that way. That, that wasn't good for me. Holy crap, how does he still have bombs here? Okay, what am I gonna do? This guy is way too far ahead. I do not want to lose already. I've been going. So, I've been doing so well in these videos. I mean, it, granted, it's this game was made for children, so it makes sense. But still, I I don't want to do bad. There he is, and sniped. Yep. Bowling bombs are green shell bowling bomb sniper. Right, there we go. There we go. There. Oh my God! What is up? I I just got ten fruit. How are you still? Dang it! How is he keeping up? Ten fruit should mean something. Alright, I'm going to take the shortcut if I can drift blast and jump correctly. Yeah, there we go. You need that shortcut to keep your lead, people. I mean, he's still going to overtake me because he's a boss. That's what bosses do. They take you. Ooh. Make these, turn, make these turns tight. Make these turns tight. That's how you keep the lead. Get these drift blasts. Three blasts. And I hit him with an item that stops him from using items. That's good. Luckily, he can't throw his bowling bombs forward, even though it would make complete sense if he could. Ooh, a shield, thank god. Wow, I think my red potion really messed him up, even though... Oh, even though he has good acceleration, it doesn't matter, because the red potion slows down your top speed, no matter what. So, you know what? That was a good good thing I, I got in front of him like that. Although, I cannot make that turn for crap, so that, that might be his catch-up point. Him and his good turning, he, he should be able to do it no problem. Oh, whoa, I had a minute and six seconds on that lap? That's 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 crazy compared to the first lap. Let's see if I can go for a minute this time. Let's let's go. That's going to be our personal challenge, since he seems to be way too far behind now to do anything. Yeah, screw that. We're going to use the boost to make this jump. Barely made it. Somehow drifting is better, but whatever. Yeah, we're, we're going for a minute, people. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, good item, whatever. I want to make this, I want to make this. How is the boss so far behind? Bosses usually get increased speed if they're too far behind, but maybe I really screwed him up somewhere. If you guys at home are watching the map, let me know what happened. But uh, other other than that, I think I could probably just do this rest of this rape in my... Uh, holy crap, the rest of this race in my sleep. Sorry, everybody at home, that was a very awkward slip up. Uh, I'm not cutting that out. Whatever. Cutting stuff out takes time. And we did it! Wow, it took even longer? I thought I was doing good. Yeah, whatever. We beat him. And if you're curious, there is not a fifth world in this game. He was the final challenge that was stopping us from taking on the overlord racer of all galaxies, Oxide. And uh, let's see him crying in the corner. Of course, just like any other boss, you gotta collect his tokens and then race in his arcade mode to unlock him. Oh, uh, he's mad at the gun. Such a good gun. And peekaboo! <laughs> so, you beat me fair and square. I doubt you'll be as lucky with Oxide. Here's a key for your Oh, troubles. yeah, great. Oh, Alright, we gotta take on the big boy. 
Batman. Batman has finally collected all the trophies to become world champion. What took you so long? Now we prove who the fastest driver really is. All right, we did it. Let's take on the final boss, Nitrous Oxide. And this is actually the only difficult race in the game. If you if you don't have problems with the last one, because the track on the last one's difficult. Because Oxide has maximum stats, and his car is gigantic. He is not a playable character in this game, sadly. Uh, all of his stats are 5 out of 5. There is nothing bad about Oh, and he gets an early start. What the hell? He's a cheater. Ah, just like me. All right, whatever. He throws behind him all the I boss items, and uh, they all kind of target you. So, you know what? He's going to be an extremely hard boss battle if you're not careful. And he throws down multiple Nitro to give truth to his name of Nitris Oxide. He gets his bowling bombs, and Jesus Christ, this is going to be a harder race than I thought. I hope I can do it on my first try. We'll see. I remember as a kid, I had a lot of trouble with this guy. Look at that. And I lost my item, and I lost my 10 Wumper Fruit. It's crazy, people. We're going to have to make this work, because the red, the red potion is really hard to deal with. And he just throws like three or two out of them at a time, which is unbelievably annoying but it's something we got to put up with make this jump and holy crap he's putting i can't even how am i supposed to dodge these and drift that's the idea we're not allowed to drift god damn it and of course the missiles are not very good on this map because of uh of the positioning of the map oh gotta go through those gotta go through oh come on get him that's a good chance oh my god it pushed him forward more than anything because of it, how high his uh top speed is when you get hit by something while you're going at your top speed, it basically propels you. You still get slowed down at the end of it, but since he has top acceleration, he didn't give a crap. No, stop it. What the? Where did my missile go? I needed that one so badly. Oh, the TNTs are going to catch up to me. Ooh, that's even worse, Nitro. Come on, come on. Nitrous Oxide using Nitro. And now Bone Bombs, of course. That makes sense. Oh, I made that turn super bad. I need to I need to hit these better. Let's get this item since I know he's gonna take the other one. He's taking all the items. Oh my god, no! He, the last item he threw got me. I need weapons. Come on, game, give me weapons. Oh, I cut corners to get there. Drift. Drift. How is he keeping up? I'm doing perfect drifting. Die. He was he outran the freaking missile. I don't know what to do against this guy. He outran the missiles, and then he used an item to block it. Ooh, I'm not making it through these potions very well. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. And I got an item. Thank God. This guy is super hard. There's only one other racer in this game with his stats, and it is an unlockable racer, but only by cheat code. Oh, and he is amazing. He has the powers of good and evil, so you get Aku Aku and Uka Uka if you use him. It's super weird. And he has the deepest voice I've ever heard. I might show him off in a bonus video. I might not. I, I don't really care enough. We'll see. If I bring some friends over and do some four-player of this game, then I'll probably definitely do it. But other than that, nah. No point. Okay, where is Oxide? I thought he's been keeping on my tail pretty well. So it's kind of weird not seeing him right now. Has he been hitting my items? Oh, he has been. Look at the little map in the corner that shows his character. He's a... Uh, He's not doing too good. And the map is kind of glitching out. Did you see the map just disappear there for a second? This this is just too unstable. Oh man, this is close. I mean, not the race. The race somehow got... Like, he keeps hitting all the items I'm putting down. It's like, he can just go around them, but no. His pathing won't let him. Even the CPU racers are stronger than that. Ah, what a... This final boss was so close the entire race until now. Now it's just kind of a joke. I'm sorry, everybody. I wanted it to be cool. I didn't mean to make it lame. All I do is make everything lame. What the heck? Oh, that was it. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. That was Nitrous Oxide. There's another race with him in this game if you get all the relics, but it's the exact same race with the exact same stats, so... I mean, it's nothing new. The ending cutscene isn't even that great either. Oh, look at him getting out. He's going to be stomping around. Because he does not want to face the crash dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and peekaboo. <laughs> I just peekabooed the rat fastest racer, in the second fastest racer in the galaxy. And let's scare him off. I can't believe it either. It was like super easy. Mm, you gotta get all the time rails. Let me make it simple for you people. If you beat him again, he leaves. He's right. He's in future games, which uh, are not nearly as fun. But they're they're not bad. But they're not nearly as fun. I only have Crash Tag Team Racing on top of that. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's Crash Team Racing, everybody. Thank you all for watching, and let's see our psychedelic crash dance to end it off. I would uh, I would let this go longer, but there's really no point. It was, it was not too bad. It's a racing game with a story with actual boss battles that makes sense for a racing game. So that's really cool. Oh, we get all the little taunts here. Maybe I'll leave this going just so we can see everybody else's taunts. Cortex and his little waves and... Uh, what the hell is he doing? Is he like clapping his knee or something? Oh, that's just creepy. And the smile. Ugh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay there, look at that. That's re that's real jubilation. Roaring to the sky. Like, ah, oh, he's just so cool. Freaking love Tiny. If you watched the Crash Bash Let's Play, my friend Jeremy was playing as Tiny through the whole thing and just fucking destroyed everybody. It was awesome. And Coco, what? Is this really your victory animation? You're just bored? Damn, that's metal. Engine doing the robot? Or some variation of it? Yeah, some variation of the robot. If Engine is your kind of guy, then, uh... Oh, that's just creepy. Dingle... <laughs> Freaking Tiny and Dingle are the best dances. I want to see him use the flamethrower, though. Oh, is he... Okay, he did the animation from Crash 3 when he uses the flamethrower, but... He didn't actually shoot anything. Oh, Polar, cool. What you got for me, baby? I killed him in Crash 2. Poor baby. Aww. Okay, now that that's your victory. Pura, I did not kill you, you cute little kitty. Just jumping around there. You got anything else for me? Okay. Still more life than Polar. Which makes sense, since he's dead. Oh, boss taunts. He actually uses his gun, that's good. Freaking 